Okay, we'll get started here in a few minutes. <clears throat> Welcome to another live event. How's everybody doing tonight? Okay, welcome back to another live event right here on the Total OS Today Technology Channel. I thought tonight we would take a look, hopefully take a look at Ubuntu Mate, if it doesn't thunderstorm again. I was debating, but it looks like it's going to rain through the weekend, so I'm not sure if doing a, a live event during the weekend would make any difference. But I figure tonight it's kind of quieted down. It's been raining all day, so I thought I would take a look at Ubuntu Mate and help and show you how to customize this. For beginners, hello, MC Strap, William Fidel. Can everybody hear me okay? Is everybody doing okay? And can you hear me tonight? The stream is looking good on my end. Can you guys hear me okay? Let's go ahead and um, let's do this. Switch over. Okay. All right, can you guys uh, see the screen with the Ubuntu Mate? I'm running Ubuntu Mate inside a virtual machine. Really for Windows users, this is probably um, one of the easiest ways to test Ubuntu Mate to see if you like it as an alternative or maybe to replace it. Now, obviously, when customizing a Linux, a Linux distro, you could spend all day and all night. I won't do that, but I'll go through some quick, real easy, quick um, customization tips. What I do, what I normally do or would do after installing Ubuntu Mate on my machine. Now the default desktop is fine, but unlike say GNOME Shell where you have to go through a lot of extensions, don't know if the extensions work to make it functionable, Ubuntu Mate is pretty much set to go out of the box. All right, okay, so everybody can hear me tonight. Very good. All right, so again, this is an unscheduled live event, uh, weather permitting. I don't expect a lot of people here for this evening, but nonetheless, uh, somewhere down the line, days and weeks ahead, someone will, someone will come across this video and say, hey, this actually looks pretty good, and it's just as easy to use as Windows 10, right? Of course. So right, we'll give it a few more minutes to see if, I'm, if, if anybody else pops on the live stream. How's everybody doing tonight? Ubuntu Mate continues to impress. Uh, ease of use, and this is what Ubuntu looked like look like before they switch to unity which unity is no more evidently and they're going to gnome shell or gnome 3 and it's not the best choice for beginners at least in my opinion okay so let's right let's get to it the stream looks pretty good doing okay okay very good i'm doing okay guys yeah uh, like i said the rainy today um kind of humid right now okay so let me go ahead and um, full screen this in a virtual machine and I'll try to catch up here with your comments okay so once again this is the latest Ubuntu Mate 17.04 this is from Ubuntu Mate.org I do believe uh, this will be supported for nine months and the LTS versions I believe the long-term support, I believe, are uh, supported for three years, I think. So after you install this, I encourage you to go through the welcome screen. 
every single shortcut here just to get acclimated to what you're seeing here. The nicest thing about Ubuntu Mate is the ability to add little applets. So let's get right to it. Let's add weather. And uh, let's see, let's pick um, preferences. Let's go someplace warm. Uh, yeah, we'll go Miami. Why not? Actually, no, let's go to where I used to live. Orlando. Yep, I used to live close to the airport. So we'll do that. And here you have an instant weather applet, very easy to use. Tomorrow it's going to be sunny. It's not going to be sunny over here. Anyway, that's the weather applet. So now you can move this, right click, move, and then we can lock it. So let's go ahead and uh, lock it. I did notice the clock 24 hour format, right click preferences. Um, yeah, we don't have to show the weather again since we have it. So let's go 12 hour format. Okay. The menu, well, you have three choices or three shortcuts here. A applications, places, system. Let's make this a little bit easier. Right click, add to panel. Menu, let's add two of these, why not? Let's do that. And uh, let's do this one. Now I'm doing this just to show you what you can do with Ubuntu Mate. You don't obviously need two menus, however, one has the ability to use the super, key, the super key, and that's this one here. This is reminiscent of the Mint menu. And we have the Brisk menu here. You can keep these up here. It won't hurt anything, as goofy as it looks. But I'm just showing you, as an example, what you can do with this. And I would probably add one more. Let's do Add to Panel. Let's do uh, Shutdown. Yeah. And I'll just leave these the way the way these are for now there is a bottom panel you can right click to delete it why don't we leave it the way it is okay check in the comments real quick Oscar, hello how are you we're looking at ubuntu mate and customizing it for beginners okay we're looking good let's move along so i installed some extra pieces of software uh these are well these might be pieces of software that users will need, will want. It's it's just my opinion, but let's go right to, right to it. Applications, I think I left this the way it was. Education, left it. Graphics, the only thing I may want to add here is GIMP. Internet, I would add Chromium. This should run a little bit faster than Firefox, at least in Linux. I would also take a look at Opera, Vivaldi, Cupzilla, Cupzilla, and Pale Moon browser. So I would add Chromium is the first one. All right, let's go to Office. Um, LibreOffice I left seems to be the standard for Linux installations. There's um, OpenOffice.org, if that's still being supported, and WPS. And I think there's another one. I can't think of it. So we'll leave this the way it is for now. Sound and video. I like Banshee. So I would install uh, Banshee. Now Banshee plays both um, video and audio files. So I, I like this. And I would also install, you may want to consider Clementine, a very nice popular uh, music player and a nice organizer for your audio files also. So, so take a look at Clementine and Banshee. As far as installing software, I like the Synaptic Synaptic Package Manager, and it looks like this. Now, this is more of a powerful tool. It may not be designed for beginners in the beginning, but it's not that difficult to learn. And this is it. So you can search for anything that you wish for. Oh, let's see. Let's try Tickers, another app I sometimes install. And there it is. You can right click for installation. Mark. It's a feed reader, but um, I think I'll change my mind. I just wanted to show you what you can do on Mark. And we can get out of that. Quit. You will no 
notice Clementine stays here pinned to the top panel. We can just quit that. Moving along. If you want to screencast or screen record your desktop, uh, try Kazam. It's lightweight. Uh, it seems to be reliable. It's very easy to use. Choices here. Record the cursor, sound from speakers, microphone, file, preferences. And you can go from there. Very lightweight. I've been using this for the last few years. Now there are other choices, of course. We have simple screen recorder, OBS, vocal screen, and the list goes on. How are we doing on the comments? John Wilson, bleeping the Microsoft. What is up, John? Keep the comments clean, okay? If you won't, if you if you wouldn't mind. Okay, let's move along. Let's hit. Let's go to the uh, really. This is really the mid menu. Let's go to. Uh, let's see. Control panel. Uh, let's see. Actually, it's right here. Never mind. Okay, so pretty much self-explanatory. Let's go to the Mate Tweak. And the desktop icons, I don't need all of these icons as you see here. So let's, uh, let's see. Network I don't need. Uh, computer I don't need. And actually, let's uncheck the trash icon. And why don't we add it to the panel? It's right here. And once again, I can move this any way that I want to. Yep, Microsoft or the Asphalt Airborne is telling me come out and do a few laps. That's what the, uh, the sound was for. With these applications, you can pin them to the top panel. So we can right click and uh, add to panel as you see here. Let's go with the system monitor. And I think you get the picture. Okay, now this does come with a dock called Plank. I kind of like this one. I think you guys will agree. It's called Cairo Dock. And here it is. Much, much nicer dock, completely configurable. It looks great figure and this is going to give you many 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 choices behavior appearance short keys we can go to advanced mode I mean this thing is really really loaded it takes some getting used to if you are a beginner but I like Cairo dock uh, versus what is it plank yeah I think it's called plank And that's the plank. Walk the plank. I blue beard, black beard. Anyway, plank is okay, but um, I think Cairo Dock is much better in my opinion. Now, of course, we can change the wallpaper and move on to that. There is a desktop switcher here, workspace switcher. Don't really need that since I have it here to the bottom right. So let's go ahead and right click and um, the switcher. Let's remove it verify and that's what we have for my customization a very brief example on how to customize what I believe to be the Linux gold standard for beginners Oscar you've been sick for a while I got diagnosed as an asthmatic oh no so I have to have an inhaler with me at all times my goodness are you okay tonight Let's see if I missed anything. I don't think so. Of course, the software boutique is the default package manager for Ubuntu Mate. Very easy to use.
I still prefer Synaptic Package Manager. And these are by categories, as you see here, accessories, education, games, graphics, internet, office, and the list goes on. But uh, once you get used to this, I would definitely go with the Synaptic Package Manager. Now, one way to install uh, software is to right-click, go to the terminal, and you can type in commands, such as what you see here, sudo apt get install kazam clementine and the list goes on not difficult at all make sure you update the system after you install this and uh, you may want to also install uh, additional drivers if you need them I think that's it briefly on how to customize the Linux gold standard at least for beginners customizing Ubuntu Mate it's a terrific desktop simple Really, it's for everybody. It is a Linux desktop for the masses, and this is why I like it so much. Do feel lightheaded, but you'll, you'll be okay. Okay, I used to have asthma as a kid. Oh, okay, I did not know that. Well, you do what you have to do to take care of yourself, absolutely. All right, so as far as customizing the desktop, unless you guys uh, have any other options uh, for this brief uh, uh, stream cast for this evening, I think I'll leave the Ubuntu desktop, the Ubuntu Mate desktop as it is. Uh, we can take a look at some quick news and see what's going on if you want. We'll just do this here. I really need to get a bigger monitor when I can. All right, let's go to Linux today. We'll probably eventually have some newbies looking at this uh, live stream sometime, someday. So we'll share some um, brief look at Linux websites. Let's see if anything sticks out. How to install Linux Mint on your Windows PC. That should be a good one. Which technologies are poised to take over an open source? Interesting. Hmm. All right, let's go to a different one. Let's go to Noobs Lab. Now, News Dabs is a great place to uh, download extra wallpaper themes for Ubuntu Mate. I am some awesome 7478. Hello, how are you? Hope all is well. Thanks for joining in on this late minute. I seem to be a master of these <laughs> unscheduled uh, live streams. I don't do as much as I would like to. I need to get a bigger monitor when I can. It would make it a lot easier. So we took a look at um, customizing the Linux Gold Standard for Beginners, which of course is Ubuntu Mate, running this inside a virtual machine. So I thought to wrap this up, we would take a look at some um, web uh, websites that beginners may want to take a look at. The News, News Lab is a terrific place to check out themes and wallpapers. Speaking of wallpapers, let's take a quick look here, see what we're showing. I'm happy too, Oscar, that you could join in. It's It would not be fun if I did this by myself, so thank you. Today's been such a dreary, cloudy day, kind of depressing. This kind of cheers me up a, a bit, so thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Planes, ships, wallpapers. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's take a look here. So we have, so we took a look at linuxtoday.com, noobslab.com. Another cool website. Hmm. Oldie ships, huh? You know, I'm watching this wallpaper, and for some reason, I'm thinking of Assassin's Creed. 
heard that movie was awful. Anyway, does anything catch my eye? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe this one? Okay, let's save that to the desktop. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Right click, set as wallpaper. I think that looks pretty good actually. Hmm. There's my Cairo dock. Love that dock. Pretty cool. But yeah, thanks to all of you for joining me tonight. So the wallpaper looks pretty good. I like that. Let's see. What else do we have? Let's go to another cool website, OMG Ubuntu. <laughs> yeah, remember this news from last week. Windows 10S <laughs> won't let users install Linux distros. Oh, oh, poor baby Windows 10. You can't install Linux who cares? I mean, look, if you if, if you need to use Windows like I do, use Windows. If you, if you want to use Linux, just, you know, either dual boot or a virtual machine. But I don't know why this is such a big deal, really. But that's my opinion, guys, as far as dual booting. I don't know. How many, how many watching tonight, how many dual booters do we have? I'm guessing nobody for tonight's stream. I could be wrong. Latte Dark. Hmm. Time for a coffee. Eh, let's see. Let's go to what's the other one I like to take a look at? Ah, yes. Ours Technica. Emails fish from Russian critic were tainted. Boy, will this Russian thing ever go away? Hmm. Thanks, Washington. Uh, anyway. You're a dual booter. I am so awesome. 74. Fine, fine. Hey, me too. So join the club. Okay, so one out of, I don't know how many people are watching tonight. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Do you enjoy dual booting? I do. Anything else here catches my eye? Uh, full game support in line. Yeah, well. Oh, screw! I don't know if that I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. Full game support. I mean, Windows seems to have the the uh, control o over that. Yeah. At least for the time being. Let's see if there's any Ubuntu news that we can take a look at. DistroWatch for Ubuntu lovers. What's ahead in Linux? Um, I don't know. Let's take a look. Ubuntu Mate should be ahead in Linux, right? <laughs> Elementary OS, my dear Penguin. Is that good or bad? I, don't know, I, I just never got into Elementary OS. It looks great, but I don't know. Not for me. Death of Unity Canonical will focus more attention on Ubuntu servers. Ubuntu in the cloud. Ubuntu is the so-called Internet of Things. Okay. Post to Unity. Transition to GNOME work? Don't know if it'll work. Will existing Unity users be upgraded to GNOME? Who knows? You enjoy dual booting. It's like I have two different computers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that uh makes sense. It, it, it is like having two different computers. I actually, in, in my Linux Mint install, I installed, um, of course, you know that you can install different desktop environments. So I installed Kubuntu. You can log out and log into a different environment. So there you go. Absolutely, yeah. Yep, Debian, good old Debian Linux. 
Let's see if this is any news for Ubuntu Mate. Anybody here use Ubuntu Mate? Tried Ubuntu Mate? Didn't like Ubuntu Mate? Just curious. The $100 Pine Book. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, let's see, Pine Books are built around the same ARM code. Cortex A53 that kickstarted the Pine Book Utilize, but instead of a Raspberry like uh, board, it has it is built to order a laptop. Interesting. This runs Ubuntu Mate. Hmm, how good can that be? Probably not too good. Debian is a bit boring. Well, I'll have to tell you that they they tend more to be towards the stable side of software. It is conservative, but they're concerned more with stability than cutting edge software. Uh, I've used it in the past. It's definitely built to be stable. You two guys, okay, MC Oscar, okay, yeah, Debian, very few problems with crashes, bugs. Not the latest software, but if you want as close to 100% stability in Linux as possible. Yeah, I would check out Debian, Debian Stable, absolutely. So you, you guys like it, okay, all right. Uh, let's see. No, this is this is what I want. What was the other one? Website. I forget. It's it's more of a technology website. I think it's called is it Slate? I can't remember. Yeah, it's it's a website for just about anything. Sometimes I'll get my news articles from here. Hmm. Intel makes their own Linux distro, really? Okay. Did not know that. Wonder what it's called. Here we go. Are, are Chromebooks fueling rise in Linux OS market share? I don't know. They are definitely popular on Amazon. Maybe. I don't know, man. I walk into my uh, my computer store like a Best Buy. I don't see Chromebooks unless I'm missing them. Let's check this real. It's Clear Linux. Okay, have you tried it? But that that rings a bell. Clear Linux. Hmm. I don't know. Looks like there's a, a poll here. What would you like to see more on OMG Chrome? Okay. Let's take a look at Web Up D8 with the number eight clear Linux. And I'm, I'm going to take a look at that in a second. That rings a bell, guys. Yeah. Polo, the new GTK3 file manager. Hmm. 
Okay, nothing special there. Let's uh, clear Linux, huh? And this is really, uh, really based off of Linux. Of course it is. Interesting. Built for various cloud use cases, we want to showcase the best of Intel architecture, technology, and performance from low-level kernel features. Hmm, I wonder what it looks like. Are there any screenshots? Hmm. Interesting. You haven't tried it. Okay. Our aim was not to make yet another general purpose Linux distribution. Sometimes lean and fast is better than big and universal. All right. I'm just curious what it looks like. This will really say, well, I was hoping for screenshots. Uh, let's search for screenshots. Clear Linux screen shots. Let's see if that'll work. Just clear. Clear OS. I don't think that's the same. Anyway, okay. So we've been taking a look at. Ubuntu Mate and how to customize the Linux gold standard at least for beginners. And I keep coming back to this because when I tried Ubuntu out back in what 2006, this is what it looked like. Yep, applications, places, system. We've added a couple menus the advanced menu or the mint menu. We have the brisk menu. We added, uh, let's see, Clementine, Banshee, Kazam. Internet, of course, we added Chromium. I would also take a look at Opera. Uh, let's see, Vivaldi, Cubzilla, Pale Moon Browser, and the list goes on and on. And of course, as far as a dock, you cannot beat Cairo Dock. This is so awesome. Love the fonts and the colors on this. Very nice. Highly configurable. I don't want to go into many changes here. It might mess up the uh, stream, but as you can see, it's <laughs> it's loaded. I like Cairo Doc. I, I always have. I think there's a Cairo. John, hello. Welcome to the stream tonight. Thank you. I wasn't expecting th these many people on a an announced uh, scheduled stream, but thanks for stopping by, John. How are you? Which Linux distro do you use, John? Let's go to, um, let's see. Let's go to Package Manager. Let's install one more thing. I think it's just Cairo Clock, I think. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Apply.
let's launch Mac slows. Mac slows. Caramel clock. Let's launch it. Let's see if it'll work in a virtual machine. It may not. Oh, there you are. There you go, a simple clock. Show seconds, show date. Hmm, let's date. Let's do that. 24 hour mode. Now nah, we'll do that. Theme. Ooh. Hmm, I haven't messed with this in a while. Man, look at all these themes. That looks funky. Antique. That looks classy. Glassy. Classy, glassy. Zen. Default. Gremlin. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? default. I don't know which one. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Antique? Yeah, let's go antique. Why not? Why not? Custom size, large? Why not? Animation smoothness. Not sure what that does. That might be too big, huh? Let's go medium. Yeah, let's do that. And the Cairo clock to go along with your Cairo dock. Anybody ever use Cairo dock? Ever heard of Cairo dock? So that's it. That is my take on customizing Ubuntu Mate, the Linux Gold Standard for beginners. Lightweight, great for older machines, super fast for new machines, runs great in a virtual box, easy to install. This comes with an automatic installer. And no problems installing this. After installing this, make sure you run all the updates. You may have to reboot. Uh, as far as other pieces of software, you may want to take a look at. I'm not, I don't know, maybe Skype. Um, yeah. Maybe some kind of messaging app. There's what? Pigeon, email client. Um, uh, well, Thunderbird's already there. But uh, I think for beginners, I think this should be enough. So... You want to send us on some a little bit of news and nonsense for tonight, guys? What say you? If not, I'll call it a night. Yes, maybe. Nobody cares. <laughs> How's the stream look? Looking good? Yeah, it looks good. Bill D, hello. You want some nonsense, huh? Okay. These are some of the websites I go uh, through when I do the, uh, the news and nonsense uh, reports, of course, with my um, current podcast partner would be Stephanie Forian. Check out Stephanie Forian here on YouTube. Great singer, great talent. Uh, she's a joy to um, do news with. Well, let's see. Let's pick this one. Always good to end the night on something funny, if we can find something funny. World's longest French strawberry cake served at festival. Man, that's not funny, funny but man, does that look yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, Bill, coming right up. Maybe that's nonsense, but that cake looks absolutely the world's longest French strawberry cake. Oh, man, I love strawberry cheesecake or cake. Don't you guys like strawberry cake? Ryan, hello. Thanks for stopping by. We were taking a look at customizing the Lynx Gold Standard, which is Ubuntu Mate. So welcome to the Streamcast, Ryan. Unscheduled, I seem to be the master of unscheduled 
uh, stream cast, and I think Sudo Reboot is a master of daily streams, because he tends to go on and on and on. Anyway, cool dude. We're just going to finish up the night with some news and nonsense. Why not? Georgia kicker boots drone out of the Skywood football. <laughs> Now that is funny. A football kicker in Georgia was being filmed by a drone when his first kick <laughs> knocked the device out of the sky. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. That's a heck of a name. Boom. <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. I hope that drone wasn't too expensive. Manhole's umbrella while driving convertible in, in the rain. Uh, what about the rest of the car? I'm just saying. <laughs> Man gets stuck trying to squeeze through mid-road guardrail. Yeah, that looks kind of painful. Anything really funny? Kuwait busts a <laughs> pigeon smuggling drugs. Oh, man, really? Yeah, Bill. Uh, I actually had, um, I went to the grocery store tonight. I bought some cherries. They're very sweet cherries, but strawberries are good, man. That, that, they actually had strawberries on sale, too, Bill. I, sh I, sh I should have bought. They were like two bucks each or, or something. But, yeah, I love strawberries. So, if you're in Kuwait and you want to smuggle some stuff, use the pigeon. Uh, let's see here. F for felony. Student charged with hacking to change grade. A University of Central... That's where I went to school at. Oh, no. You're giving it a bad name. It's facing a felony charge for allegedly hacking to the system to change an F grade to a... B what a dumb... Number one, it's dumb to do it. But if you're going to do it, you change it from, from an F to a B. At least give yourself an A for effort. Dumb. New Jersey police officer hoists baby deer from storm. Oh, that's cool. Good for him. Pretty. Let's see. Thieves steal one of a kind <laughs> inflatable obstacle course in Arizona. Wow, it was it's worth thirty five thousand dollars. Ooh. Okay. Bear rips bumper off Colorado donut shops delivery car. <laughs> What could I say? I guess the bear wanted uh, a donut with the strawberries, right, Bill? Hmm. Wow. The owners of a Colorado donut shop said a beer, a bear, ripped off the rear bumper of their delivery vehicle trying to get to the donut smell in the trunk. Well, let that be a lesson to you. Girl accuses teacher of war crime. Well, that's unusual. Florida woman doing laundry finds python trying to eat rat's blanket. Ew. No, thank you. Pet owner makes homemade harness for disabled fish. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, Bill. That, uh, I, well, I guess bears have a good sense of smell. What can I say? Pet owner makes homemade harness for disabled fish. Boy, that guy's got a good heart. What can I say? Huh. Okay. Sea lion lodges a wooden bench. Okay. Brazilian man drives badly. Damaged for the collapsed roof. That looks painful. Uh, mechanic removes car seats to catch venomous snake. Don't you hate what that happens? You're driving down the road and there's a snake under, un, underneath your seat. Oh. Construction workers rescue kitten. Oh. $24 million lottery jackpot claimed. Ooh, two days before expiring. Wouldn't that be a bummer? You check it after it expires and yeah, I could have been a millionaire. Wah. Okay. Hapless raccoon knocks out power for 5000 in Florida. Oops. Mystery emu runs wild in Alabama. Hmm. California woman drawn on beard. 
Arrest, arrested for bank robbery. Okay, fine. Uh, German music festival constructs four mile beer <laughs> pipeline. Germans definitely like their their beer, don't they? A heavy metal music, of course. What else, right? A heavy metal music festival in Germany constructed a four mile long beer pipeline to more efficiently serve its guests. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't have a. Uh, do I have donuts tonight? No, I got popcorn. I like sour cream donuts. Hmm. Yes, Ubuntu mate and sour cream donuts with strawberries. The perfect, the perfect distro combination, right? Okay. Uh, truck spills chicken parts. Ew. Money is nice to have, but if you want what, if you get what you want all the time, it's no fun. Maybe not. We need more beer pipelines, really, Bill. Yeah. I prefer tequila myself, but hey, um, I'll have to send that story to uh, Stephanie because she's in Munich. Yeah, I'll send it to her later. She might find that, or maybe she already knows about it. Man, four mile beer pipeline. Wow. Okay, where are we? Florida CVS customer finds herself locked in inside after closing. Hmm. Mm hmm. Pennsylvania fisherman saves baby bear from here we go with bears again. California whale watchers spot dolphin with a rare coloration. Yeah, that is a rare coloration, huh? Let's see if we can get a better picture of that. Hmm, that's a strange looking uh yeah. Dolphin. Looks kind of cool, actually. Anyway, let's move along. Okay, where are we here? Man proposes at Cleveland Marathon finish line. Um, is that romantic? I'm not sure. I guess if the if they are near to that beer pop pipeline, yeah, it's great. Alabama woman finds a possum sleeping in her drawers. Hmm. Yeah. Golf game interrupted by battle between venomous snakes. Ew. New York City police rope escape cow running across local bridge. Okay. <laughs> Dog interrupts. Russian news broadcast, anchor and cat person. <laughs> da, comrade. We don't want no dog here. <laughs> uh, family sleeps through alligator capture on their front porch. Okay, another bear. Hmm, I can, I can barely bear it. Florida man cited for driving with SUV's hood blocking view. Why would you want to drive with your hood? I don't get that. Another bear. Mid garbage meal, of course. Oh my. Minnesota thrift store finds marijuana in bag of kids' clothes. Lovely. I'm looking for something really funny, really, really funny, but don't see it yet. <laughs> Trap blizzard rescued from discarded Red Bull can. That is kind of funny. <laughs> I guess the lizard says, hey, that smells pretty good. <laughs> Swan chases police officer around SUV. Really? Take a look at that real quick. That that sounds funny. Florida man strikes again. Yes. <laughs> a Florida jogger captured video of an Orlando where I used to live. If I can get to the story, all these graphics. Come on, let me read it. I'm afraid if I'll play the video, I might lose the stream.
we can't overstate the hazards our officers face on the job, said, according to the Orlando Police Department, yes, those treacherous swans. They're very dangerous in Florida. There it is right there. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Of course, the question is, why chase the swan? Interesting. Anyway, it's not loading right, so the heck with that. Husky apprehended after stealing bread from Dollar General. I guess it was hungry. What can I say? Okay. I think that's it for the silly news for tonight. So let's get and wrap this up here. We were taking a look at the Linux Gold Standard, which is Ubuntu Mate. If you are new to the world of Linux, definitely take a look at this. You can download this for free if you like what you see. Consider donating to the project. I have. It's a great alternative, maybe a replacement for Windows 10. I don't know. If you're not into gaming, yeah, this might be perfect. Okay, so anything else on your mind, guys, before I wrap this up? Running this in OBS screen recorder, screencaster, pretty good piece of software, as you see here. Nothing else on your mind, guys? Because I'm going to wrap this up here, because um, I think I'm done for this evening. All this talk about strawberries and <laughs> donuts has made me hungry. I, I may have to go back upstairs to my cherries in the fridge. Yeah, and have uh, a few cherries before I go to bed. This was fun, so I know it might be easier to do these on the weekends, so anyway. Okay, guys, that is it for tonight. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, thanks for taking some time off to spend it with the Total OS Today Technology Channel. Always greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Share what you saw, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have it. That helps support this Total OS Today technology channel. Good night.